Neighbors living next to a trashed home in Lakeside are asking for help. They contacted News 8 complaining about drug use, loud arguments and vagrants on the property. News 8 producer David Gopperson investigates in this Your Stories report. We're taking pictures of this house. The man in the backyard says his name is Harvey. When News 8 showed up with a camera at the home on Lindo Lane in Lakeside, Harvey started cleaning up trash in the front yard. Other people at the house climbed in their car, gave us the middle finger salute, and quickly drove away. I've contacted the sheriff hundreds of times over the last five years. Next door neighbor Rob Miller says it's nothing more than a flop house with no power and homeless people living in their vehicles. They yell at the top of their lungs in the middle of the night. There's trash all over the place. Um, people are sleeping in their cars. They're throwing up and vomiting out in the streets. We asked Harvey for his side of the story. What do you have to say about the neighbors who are complaining about the conditions of the house here? What well, do I have to say? Nothing. Off camera, Harvey told us the owner of the home, 60-year-old Margaret Schwab, has a big heart, and she wants to give the homeless a place to live. Everybody that works here in Lakeside is aware of that house. Sergeant Tim Chandler with the Lakeside Sheriff's Department says deputies have been called out to the house numerous times. It's going to be a long-term solution um, to work with a property owner, for code enforcement to work for them to try and clean the place up. This property has been cleaned up in the past. In 2017, county code enforcement officers raided the place. And they took a big cleaning crew and, and, and took about four dumpsters full of garbage to the dump. It took them two days to do it. The cleanup operation cost taxpayers more than $8,000 and liens were placed on the property. But the county admits the owner hasn't paid off any of those liens. Here it is. It's right back to where it's at. I mean, it's, it's not as much trash as they had back in 2017, but it's starting to accumulate again. Three years ago, deputies found a man living in a backyard shed here with his nine-year-old daughter. He was convicted of felony child abuse, being a felon in possession of a firearm, and he got four years in prison. At this point, Miller says he's pretty much at the end of his rope. Nobody's doing anything about it. The, the neighbors stop calling the police because nothing gets done. David Godfordson, News 8. A county spokesperson told us the liens will remain on the house until the homeowner either sells or refinances the home. If you have a story idea you think we would be interested in, just send an email to yourstories at kfmb.com.